my name is Viktor Gromniak and I'm lead blockchain engineer here at Vilayer. Um, previously, I've been working in the crypto slash blockchain space for um, almost 10 years now. I co-founded a crypto derivatives exchange and worked in the exchanges, trading business, uh, so mostly trading tokens, cryptocurrencies. I got interested in how blockchains actually operate underneath, how tokens are built, uh, so, uh, and was interested in doing some innovative ZK stuff, so that's the reason why I joined Vlayer. So uh, WebProof is a piece of data we take from web, uh, which means we take it from HTTPS. It can be a website, it can be an API request. And um, what we do is through, a, through cryptography, what we are able to do is we are able to guarantee authenticity and integrity of the data after the HTTP session has finished, which is a, a unique property. And we can later, having a web proof, we can verify uh, the authenticity and integrity of the data and use it later, for example, in a smart contract. We start by generating a web proof. And once we have this verifiable piece of information, then everything you need to do as a developer is to pass a specialized solidity structure called web proof into a smart contract uh, as, as an argument. Uh, and then within the smart contract, we provide you the ability to uh, number one, verify the web proof to guarantee authenticity and integrity of the data and later to, to parse it and to work with the data in the smart contract. So once we pass the web proof to the smart contract, vLayer provides uh, specialized pre-compiles, which you can call from your Solidity smart contract to first verify, verify the data and later parse the web data. So web data usually comes in some structured format. For example, it can be JSON and we pro provide uh, a number of pre-compiles which work with those formats and help you parse JSON into data which you can easily work with in a Solidity smart contract. So what, what we do here is we provide you the ability to develop a smart contract which uses a web proof, but you can execute the verification of the web proof parsing and any other processing of the data verification that you need to do, which all of it is pretty expensive, but we provide you the ability to do it off chain. So we don't have to do all of that on chain and hence incur heavy gas costs, but you can do it uh, off chain. And the way we do it is we leverage ZK, uh, zero knowledge technologies to execute the, uh, the smart contract in a way which is later provable on chain. Hence, you can take the web proof, uh, plug it into your smart contract, execute it off chain, and then later take the verified data and use it on chain. So that's the like end-to-end -end picture of, of what we enable you to do. Trust uh, is tricky in this setup, so it's important to keep this in mind and um, security considerations are nuanced in, in the context of, of web proofs because the way we generate a web proof is we involve a technology which relies on a specialized third party called uh, Notary and Notary is a trusted third party who notarizes the data which we can later verify. So what is important to understand is the trust assumptions that we need to trust the notary that they did their uh, job honestly. 
Um, so what we provide as vLayer is the ability for, uh, for the developer of, of the protocol to choose a notary which works for, uh, for their scheme. So we will work we, with our setup can, can work with um, pretty much any not notary uh, setup that, that you'd like to use. I can also speak from my experience. Um, I think, and it's also one of the reasons that convinced me to, to join VLayer, is that I, I think so, so far the world of Web3 has been separated from Web2. So um, you could write smart contracts, dApps, and build DeFi, but it it all has been kind of self-contained in the blockchain world and the web two world has been living on, on, on the side and they have been mostly disconnected. So you could maybe trade a token on a centralized exchange, but other than that, it didn't have um, much utility and there has been this gap between like the the real world and web3 world and i think what's what's been very interesting for me is that i think we are right now at when it comes to development of technologies and especially of uh, cryptography technologies zero knowledge multi-party computation and other fascinating technologies. There have been some major breakthroughs recently in, in those technologies, which are like really, when you read a white, white paper, it's very academic and it involves mathematics. So a lot of research has, has gone into that. And uh, it turns out that all this has to be, had to be developed to enable connecting Web 2 to Web 3. So I think we are, right now, we are at a very fascinating point in time where it's happening uh, and we are witnessing it happen. So those technologies have emerged and they enable us building those bridges between Web 2 and Web 3, such as Web Proofs, for, for example. And if, if you've been working in Web 2 so far, now it's an opportunity to bring the data and, and the knowledge uh, from Web2 world into Web3 world in a cryptographically secure manner.